Hey, what's up, guys? It is your boy, Kingdom. Chicago was hunted. Atlanta cannot be phased. And Optic is no longer gaming. What an amazing day one we had for the Atlanta home series. I wish that tomorrow was starting right now. And so all I wanted to do is give you guys kind of like six things that I learned today. There was so much Call of Duty that happened and I wasn't going to make a video but wow, so much happened today that was just amazing, and I want to share it with you guys. Uh, but also, I will be doing a full recap, of course, at, on the podcast on Monday. We have none other than Attach from the New York Subliners coming on the show to join myself and Icon at 7.30 Eastern. Link is in the description of my Twitch channel. Make sure you guys check it out. Go hit that follow button so that you don't miss it. The first thing that I learned today is that the rocker mean business. They came out smoked Paris 3-1, looked dominant, looked good, and honestly, they made a statement. And even when they played Chicago, they blazed them by over 100 points. They almost 100-point clubbed Chicago in the hard point, looked really good. Arsity said on camera that it threw them off, that that's kind of what made them unravel as a team. And honestly, he said that they lost full. I mean, and it was, and the rest of the maps played close. I mean, it the rocker mean business and they are here to play and i'll give you my prediction for their match uh that they have tomorrow uh in a moment number two the second thing i learned is that you know it, to that same point chicago is vulnerable they went game five round 11 with toronto and almost lost and that series i think led to them unraveling in the next series and what arsity said on camera is he was like if we would have lost that game five round 11 i think we would have then had another we 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 would have carried that to the next series like it would have carried on if we would have lost that and then if we would if they would have lost to the rocker like like Chicago they were exposed a little bit today you know and it it they've looked so superhuman up until this moment it's probably good for them you know all of us in the community we've kind of said it you know for that team is that they can unravel there's a lot of egos when they start losing what's going to happen and what we heard from the players themselves is that they lost full a little bit you know, and Scump kind of admitted we kind of underestimated Toronto. Um, and it was weird for Arsides to say they they didn't get to practice as much or they weren't as practiced. Um, I, I think they're going to show up tomorrow. Uh, but they that the way that they played so close with Toronto and that, that HP versus the Rocker, it showed some vulnerability for that team. Number three, phase is focused. That's the third thing that I learned. They have a 24 and 6 round total round count in search and destroy of all the matches that they've played in the CDL so far. 24 and 6. Simp almost got a collat. He's got the second most snipes at the event right now. Wuskins has 10, he has 9. Uh, it's going to be epic if we get to see those two teams face off against each other. Uh, but nevertheless, Phase is focused and 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 here's about their focus. One of the things that uh, Crowder said in an interview is that he just needs his guys to be in the right place at the right time. And the thing that's funny is that in both of the hard points versus London, Selium was the only person to go positive. He went 30 and 20 in the first one or 32 and 20. And then he dropped a 40 bomb in the second one and they won. London had at least two players that were positive in both of those HPs, but phase won the hard point and Selium was the only one going positive. They know something. They're playing the game in a way that we don't see anybody else playing it, but it's working. They won both of those hard points handedly. So big ups to phase. They are very focused. Number four, the optic woes continue coming into this event. Optic was the only team in the CDL with no points and they leave this event. The only team in the CDL with no points. It's really unfortunate that they're not playing tomorrow. Their best opportunity was against Florida, but my number five point, proved itself is that florida can fight florida is scrappy and they will do whatever it takes to win um they lost the hard point and it looked like okay this is the optic gaming we've been waiting for this is the ogla that we knew had potential i mean i think jcap dropped like 24 and some 24 and 19 i don't remember what he dropped 24 and 13 or something uh he had a good map one he was the best player on his team in map one in the hard point and then florida just went to bat uh, they were down two rounds in the search at 5-3, but they brought it back one three rounds in a row and won the search, brought it to round 11 and won it. They tied, which was a controversial 20-minute moment <laughs> when they tied in the Dom, but they had the tick went in their favor. It just said draw on the screen. You guys will, of course, hear more about that for the rest of the weekend because it was an amazing moment or see it on Twitter. Um, 
And they just clutched up in the last hard point. I mean, Florida can fight. That's what we learned. And they're going to have a fight on their hands when they face London tomorrow. And the last thing I learned is that tomorrow is going to be amazing. Sunday is going to be amazing. And if you're not watching this video until Sunday, today is going to be amazing. We have some excellent Call of Duty on our hands. So I want to predict the first two matches that we know are going to happen to secure the semifinal spots. And I want to know your guys' predictions. For London versus Florida, I have London winning. Um, I think London, they are showing and proving at this event they are a team to beat in this league, that they are one of the top four or five teams in this league, and they're going to be fighting for that fourth or third place spot against Dallas, maybe against Paris, maybe against the Rocker. I mean, we'll see how things shape out, but it looks like London is like, no, we belong where we've placed ourselves based on the other events, and if they make it into these semifinals and they go back to back going into the semifinals twice, it'll be great uh, for London to really show and prove, uh, but I have them winning against Florida tomorrow, and then in the other match, that's going to be a qualifying match. And the other qualifying match, the Rocker versus Paris, I have Rocker winning. I've had Rocker coming out of that side of the bracket since the podcast on Monday. I predicted that Minnesota was going to prove to everyone. And I tweeted about this. Their win against Paris was not an upset. It wasn't a fluke. Paris wasn't playing bad. Minnesota means business. I said it at the beginning of this video, and I mean it. Minnesota means business. They are well-staffed. They study well. They prepare well. And they're going to show and prove some more of that tomorrow, I think. But we'll see because Paris knows how to fry. And either Paris or London, I think, is going to prove like, hey, we belong where we are. Paris right now, I think, is second or third in standings. I believe they're second in standings. And they're going to show like we belong where we're at in the standings. And if they walk away from this event with 20 or 30 points, Paris will put themselves in really good position for the rest of this year. You guys tell me in the comments what you think about today and how excited you are for tomorrow. Nevertheless, this is your boy Kingdom, and I'll see you in the next video.